my god! Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up! <laughs> oh my god, that's so dis- Oh dang! Disgusting! I'm Jimmy Fritz. I need all of you dozens of viewers out there just tell me how you like this, alright? Friends, have you ever heard the term main character energy? It's what the youngsters say now. If you have main character energy, you're like the coolest person in the room. I like to lovingly joke that I have supporting character energy, but character energy nonetheless. Well, today we're gonna check out some main characters on the subreddit r slash I'm the main character. Meaning people who just think that they are the center of the universe, you know what I mean? Let's see what this main character is up to. Controversial opinion, but if you have a token white and you're hanging out with your friend group of color, you need to ask permission from everybody in the group to bring your white friend. Like, don't just bring them. Ask for explicit permission from everyone. Because just because you're comfortable with them doesn't mean that everybody's comfortable with them. I might not be in the mood to deal with white shenanigans that day. That's, that's all I'm saying. Oh. I mean, you definitely should ask your other friends permission before inviting me somewhere, but that's mostly because I'm just weird, not because of my race. Lucky for her, most people won't hang out with someone so insufferable. <laughs> and another thing, it feeds into their ego. Like, don't don't let them think they're a good white person. Don't don't give them that card to use against other people. Please don't do that. Is that really where we're at in life? Like, she thinks that there's no good white people? There are good white people, okay? Look at Carrot Top. You have it on high. <laughs> It's Here we have a lady on a plane. If only there was a page dedicated to videos of Karen's getting a little hurt. Imagine sitting next to her. She gets a little hurt. Lord almighty. I'm trying to figure out what happened. <laughs> You would have thought that that woman passing by literally just walked up and chopped her arm off. That would necessitate that type of scream. She is definitely the main character of this plane. <laughs> this comment says, I've never understood why some people's behavior changes to wig out once they board a flight. It's like they don't know how to act. That's so true. What happens on a plane? What happens on a plane that make people say, that guy back there is not real. That back there is not real this says she was pretending that the people getting off the plane attacked her as they went by in fact she grabbed them as they walked by unfortunately for her the second one was the flight attendant who was having none of it and threw her off as well a manufactured victim but why just maybe because she was hoping to sue him or something speaking of suing <laughs> had that crazy lady wanted to file a lawsuit against the other lady it will cost you a heck ton of money and legal fees probably everything's crazy expensive these days and not all of us have a lot of money lying around because we're not all good at managing our money but thankfully today's sponsor can massively help with that friends have you ever pulled up a streaming service on your television ready to watch a show but you can't remember your password for whatever the streaming platform is so you just create a new account and then you do that like 17 more times because same i recently just found out i had three subscriptions to peacock tv no idea how that happened. I guess I really wanted to watch Parks and Rec, which is why I was so thankful for today's sponsor, Rocket Money, for alerting me of this duplicate charge, triplicate actually, and handling the cancellation for me so that I did not have to spend hours on the phone with customer service trying to cancel my multiple subscriptions. This app is so stinking awesome. Everybody should be using it to just save more money and manage your money a little bit better. I started using them in 2020 when I really realized that I needed to be more like organized with budgeting my money. Not only do they show you all of your recurring subscriptions in one spot, but they also show you exactly how much you have given to the companies that you're subscribed to over time. So for example, I was just thrilled to find out that you know, I've paid $13,000 over the last few years for my internet. That was awesome to hear. Great, wonderful. No yelling on the bus. No yelling on the bus. But seriously, without information like this, it's a little bit more difficult to budget. So I absolutely love this app. Also get this, they will negotiate to lower your bills on your behalf. So you can upload a picture of whatever your bill is that you wanna lower, tap a few buttons and Rocket Money will literally negotiate to get your bills lowered. They have actually helped people save around $500 million in canceled subscriptions. There's no reason not to check this app out at this point. We all 
could use a little finance managing. So friends, go ahead, get the tools that you need to achieve financial freedom, and you can head to rocketmoney.com slash Jamie French to try it out today. Get rid of those duplicate charges. Again, that is rocketmoney.com slash Jamie French. Be sure to spell my name correctly to start taking control of your doll hairs. Thank you so stinking much, Rocket Money, for helping me save so much money and for supporting my channel and sponsoring a portion of today's video. And now back to the show. Here we have what looks like a beach proposal. Oh no. I hope he did it right when the person was kneeling. That's, I mean, that's a story to tell the grandkids, you know? It's incredible. Maybe this isn't a proposal because they look like quite casual for people who are about to get engaged. The real main characters are the folks filming themselves having a conversation from 15 feet away at least to a cartwheel. Oh, see, yeah, okay. Maybe it wasn't a proposal. That would have been funny if it was though. Crying in silence because my husband just found out the three kids I birthed are not biologically his. Oh my God. This lady's making my headache hurt worse. Shouldn't he be the one crying? You're the supporting character. You're the, she should be the villain in the story and the husband should be the main character. Nobody wants to know how the villain's feeling. This comment says, people who record themselves crying baffle me. Yeah, recording crying, crying selfies. I mean, it's one thing if you like have something to say and you happen to be crying, but just a crying selfie where the caption says crying in silence. A little bit weird, a little bit main character-y, you know what I mean? This one says, everyone hates her for being too pretty. Amy Gleedel says she doesn't understand why moms don't make an effort. I get shamed by other mothers for being naturally pretty with a good figure. They're just jealous because I don't need lip filler to look nice. Okay. How did this become an article on the internet? Is she famous? Is she relevant? I have to look this up. Okay, yep, this is a real thing. <laughs> This is a real thing. Mom shamed for being naturally pretty, but she thinks others are just jealous. She's always taken pride in her appearance and takes time to pick out a nice dress and jewelry every day, but says her natural good looks haven't done any favors with other moms. Look, I'm not even gonna... <laughs> The mum of the 15 month old Arthane claims other mums judge her at baby groups and are not friendly towards her. Amy believes they're jealous and she doesn't need lip fillers and her hair done. Yeah, I'm sure it's because of your looks and not because of your absolutely massive ego. Everyone hates me because I'm so <laughs> Anybody in your life who assumes that people don't like them because they're jelly, might be a red flag, you know what I mean? I'm sure her lack of humility has nothing to do with it. See, exactly, dude. My heart is heavy with sadness at the suffering she must endure on a daily basis from all the mids and uggos looking upon her remarkable beauty. <laughs> I hope someone is working on her eventual canonization. Saint Amy of Lincoln, patron saint of unearned confidence. Okay, I'm not gonna comment on how Amy looks because I don't think she's uggo. <laughs> <laughs> the dreaded shaming of mids and uggos. I think Amy's British because this article has the word mums. Mum. Mum. So I think she's probably more like, everybody hates me because I'm so, so, so beautiful. I have hu huge, Burbs. I've got perfect burbs. And I think everyone's a bit jealous, isn't it? A bit jealous, aren't they? Run of the mill TikToker interrupts a marriage proposal. Oh boy. Excuse me, do you know how I get a Walmart? From here, yeah. No I'm from the UK, I don't know how. Wrong time, wrong time. Yeah. Huh? Why? Okay, I feel like that was staged. Right, that had to have been staged. Dude, they had a whole production, like a massive neon sign and, and a, a band. <laughs> what kind of dumb A would do this? Yeah, see this comment says, please tell me this was staged. Please tell me someone would not see this. Wait for the guy to show up and immediately ruin a once in a lifetime moment for clout. That's what I don't get is you're not getting clout from doing something like this to people. You're just gonna, you're just gonna get backlash. You're just gonna get people to not like you and anybody who would like this type of content is probably also a TikTok D-bag. Lady on speakerphone the entire time while in pediatrics waiting room, her kids were already called back. <laughs> Okay, yeah, so rude. This, I had a similar experience the other day when I was getting my nails done. The girl, it was actually one of the workers, she was doing someone's pedicure and she was on the phone. It only lasted a few minutes, but then she was talking to the girl she was doing her pedicure on and she was like, oh yeah, I love squeezing pus out of people's toes. <laughs> I was like, um, 
I would like to leave. You know what I would do in this situation? I would either play a really loud video on my phone and if that wasn't loud enough, just start singing crazy loud. Go literally go sit right next to her and be like, can you feel the love tonight? You know what I mean? Influencers cause traffic jam on a Brooklyn bridge. <laughs> Oh my god. As we learned in the Karen video from a couple weeks ago where the woman was sitting on that girl's car, lay on the horn. Everybody just lay on the horn. All of everybody all at once. Ruin their TikTok, ruin their focus, throw stuff out your car window. I know you got a big gulp in there. Just ruin it. Imagine someone was trying to get to like a funeral <laughs> or a job interview. This comment says there's literally a walkway within the same view. In fact, that's where the guy recording is standing. Yeah, but that wouldn't get as many views and likes. Work I noticed a teenager leaning over the parking garage. It could just be someone chilling, but it's really high up and he looks young. I'm going to go up there and just make sure everything is okay. Then I got there and noticed him pacing back and forth. Time to go talk. Then this happened. Yeah, this is exactly what I thought it was. Influencer stages rescue for attention and recognition so basically he got his friend to pretend he was gonna jump off of a parking garage so that he could be the safe the savior oh my god i hate the internet so bad sometimes oh you yeah when someone just needs a hug yeah dude be there you saved him dude yeah i was just driving around happened to be recording and my freaking Buick, dude. Dude was about to jump off a parking garage. I had no choice but to save his life, dude. Anyone else would have done the same. Oh God. Dude's about to jump off the building. Wait, hold on, let me set up my tripod. Not only did he record himself driving, but he literally set up a tripod to go talk to the guy. All right. I've had enough main characters. Let's move on to a different subreddit. One that will make us even more uncomfortable. Let's check out r slash sad cringe because who doesn't like to be sad and cringe? Here we go, ready? This one is called Yikes. There are other forms of comedy that don't involve almost injuring people on the subway. <laughs> or the train, whatever it is. This huh? poor guy did not sign up for this. Common says, do people not grow up embarrassed by things anymore? Not when people literally make money from doing this stuff. Yeah, it's like, that's what I'm saying. It just eggs people on. And then people like Carl here hmm? are the ones who suffer. 0% sad, 100% cringe. I should rank that one. I'm gonna, I disagree. I'm gonna say that was 50-50 is 50% sad, 50% cringe. The sad part is just the fact that people do this, that that's, this is what the world is coming to. Oh, I just saw this yesterday and I really wanted to stitch. I really wanted to stitch this, but the background music kind of messes it up for me. This is influencers releasing their limiting beliefs. <laughs> okay, look, I don't want to step on anyone's beliefs, but here we go. I'm just kidding. I don't want to like, <laughs> I don't want to yuck their yum, okay? Because, yeah. This is actually not the weirdest thing I've seen on the internet. They're not hurting anybody. They're not bothering anybody. It is quite unique. I really want to see this without the background music. Like, I just want to hear the screams. I could have so much fun with this edit. Just like looping it over and over, but zooming in on a different person each time. Someone said that poor child just noticed the child. What? What child? <gasps> there is a child. I didn't see. Oh, no. <laughs> Oh, the poor thing. I guarantee you that little darling started bawling after seeing this. Like, why is everybody, can you imagine? 
I have to do an edit of this and like zoom in on that kid. <laughs> All right, this one's called TikTok was a mistake. No. Well, I'm gonna do it anyway. Oh my God. Oh my God. I just, my biggest concern right now is, was that her bag that she took and emptied out? I really hope it was. Heck yes. Let's go cops, dude. Let's go cops. Oh, I wanted to see her get tackled. Does that mean? That's mean. Two MCs in the gym. The saddest and cringiest thing you'll see today. Oh no, what is happening here? Switch. Yes, got it. Thank you. gosh i hate my life okay so this is looking like a sort of dominatrix situation in public at planet fitness of all places the judgment-free zone planet fitness is a judgment-free zone well unfortunately i am not judgment-free while watching this <laughs> he's struggling Oh my god! Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. <laughs> oh my god, that's so dis disgusting! Disgusting! Why do I get sucked into stuff like this? Oh my god, I'm gonna throw up. I am so stinking sorry for anybody who was watching this with me. Whatever gets you going, but nobody else has consented to being a part of this. Keep it at home. That's what I'm saying. Like, why do things like <laughs> Oh my god, it's so freaking weird, dude. Planet Fitness has really come full circle here. That's what I'm saying, man. When the members take the judgment-free zone motto a little too far. All right, this one's called This Isn't Even Funny. You want to buy some steroids? We don't allow steroids solicitation out on floor. I can give you a free trial if you'd like. We, we can always call the police and have them escort you out as well. Do you think they would want some or no? Sure, we can find out. You want me to call them up? I'll call them up. Could I just solicit to a few of your nope, customers? No, you cannot. You can leave right now. Well, but could we wait like right outside nope. the door? Just get out of my building. Okay, the first thing I'm noticing is that there has to be... No, I guess there's not two cameras. Because if this was 1080p, then he just is cropping it. Never mind. Right now. These are the highest quality you steroids on one? the market. Man, you guys are just pathetic, aren't you? You don't have anything better to do. Uh, do you see how big my biceps are, though? <laughs> are you serious right now? Yeah, I mean, I've been taking this since like a week. Okay, this is kind of stupid and it honestly seems strange. You see how big my biceps are, dude? Is this dude in high school? Congratulations. Please leave right now. If you want any, just let me know. I'll be around. Get out right now. Follow him okay. right now. Excuse me, sir. Would you like yep, some? No, out right now. Oh. Do not bother me. Do oh. not bother my members. Get out right now. Gosh. Your customers. Nope. Get out right now. The police are on their way. Or would you happen to? No, nope. do not bother oh, my members. Okay, okay. Get out right now. Oh, sir, would you want any of this? Okay. Do not bother my members. Oh, oh. Get my, out now. Oh my god. My members. I forgot, I forgot. Leave now. Okay? okay, my bad, my bad. I was nope. just trying to sell it. Nope. Okay, my bad, my bad. Nope. Nope. Yep. Yep. <laughs> it's not this guy's first rodeo, you can tell. Wait, this was another Planet Fitness, I just realized. What's happening at Planet? Is Planet Fitness okay? Is that its own video? Lord almighty. Is this fake? The annoying kid in high school who thought he was cool. Losers. Absolute losers. Losers plural? Oh yeah, I guess like the steroid guy and the camera guy are plural losers. This one's just called sad cringe. A little early to be drinking wine in the play park with the little one running about, don't you think? <laughs> are you hiding the bottle from the little one? Are you trying to just drink through this play sesh with little Tommy? Every moment is as special as the last. You don't want to forget these days, Darla. Listen. Okay. <laughs> Shut up, dude. Let her have her wine. She's a mom. Mommies drink wine. I don't know if you know. I remember my my parents and grandparents were always drinking while the kids were playing. That's how they cope with us hellions. Certainly is probably how your mom coped. Put the bottle down. Just give me the bottle. Keith doesn't have to see this. Give me the bottle. You don't need that. You don't need the bottle. You don't need it. Keith. Keith doesn't have to see this. Keith doesn't have to see this. <laughs> I guess it is, okay, look, it is a, a bit unusual to bring a, like, chug from a whole bottle at a park. <laughs> but especially if your husband's there playing what's wrong with having a little... Maybe I'm crazy. I think camera guy is just a D-bag. Come on, Tommy's going down the slide. You're not even present. You're not, you're not even making sense. You're not even making sense. You're stumbling over your words. This is London, not Bulgaria. Come on. Huh? Keith, why are you letting her indulge in the bottle? It's not even... Six o'clock, and you're at the play park with little Tommy. She's getting hey, 
Yes. Does he know that the kid's name is Little Tommy? Keith, why are you letting her indulge in the bottle at the park? <laughs> Please tell me the husband punches this guy. Pirate ship. It's degenerate behavior. That's what me and my friends do. Hmm. That's interesting. That's degenerate behavior. That's what me and my friends do. Why do I? Why does everything I do sound Australian? He just said it was London. And now Keith's telling me to f off. All right. Well, I don't want to. I don't want to go over Keith's shiny head. I don't want to go over Keith's bald head. So I'm gonna get lost. You alcoholic. <gasps> oh my goodness. Anything for social media attention. This comment says cameraman has never been to a little league sporting event. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> Parents drink. Don't go to ballparks on weekends. Ballpark moms and dads have been known to throw them back during tournaments, wine in their tumblers and chugging beer in the parking lot. That's what I'd be doing. That's what I'd be doing if I was a parent. What a self-righteous git. That's what the Brits say, right? He's a git. Well, I guess I've had about all of the sad cringe that I can handle today. I, again, I'm very sorry about the spitting. I don't know if we should include, I don't know if we should include that. The reaction was good, but man, that was weird. So there's two morals of today's story. Uh, one, be a supporting character. Hang out in the background. Two, don't do weird stuff at Planet Fitness. That place is weird enough as it is. Thanks for watching, friends. Don't forget to check out Rocket Money to help manage your finances. Please come to my show in September in San Diego if you want. It's gonna be a good time. I am headed to the Museum of Illusions in St. Louis. Has anybody been there? I'm super excited. It looks super cool. Okay. Love you guys. Bye. Did I salvage the situation? You had a crush on me? Yes. Haha, uh -huh, April Fools. Yeah, sure got you. That was not that good. Unless I'm missing something. You forgot unless dot 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 at the end. <laughs> uh, just kidding, I don't have a crush on you. April Fools. <laughs> unless. Unless you're interested. My dog is the main character right now. I have a headache. Stop!